2014, looking at um, this facial recognition technology that could actually maybe one day end up in a camera like the Kinect. So right now, um, this SDK, this is a new feature that Meta.io is adding to its SDK that's compatible with the Kinect. So there's an infrared uh, light right here and then two cameras uh, which are used to kind of perceive depth so that it can create an actual uh, really accurate 3D reconstruction of my head. So we're going to take a look at how this works right now. So basically, uh, the image is being projected onto this large screen over here. So by looking at the camera, it's just kind of uh, making an accurate scan of my head. So if I slowly look from left to right, we'll be able to get a even more accurate depiction of my head. And the reason why um, the camera, see the camera can actually already do this without showing my face, it's actually doing it invisibly. But in order to be able to accurately place the glasses on my face, it creates a visual version as well for texture. So this is a technology that could eventually be used for uh, point of sales or to make uh, virtual shopping easier so that you can actually see what something looks like before you buy it. So as you can see, as I move my head back and forth, the glasses stay on my face because and you might not really be able to see this in the video, but there's actually like a virtual version of my head kind of floating in the corner and that's um, the, the 3D model that was made. So, so this is a prototype version, which is why um, you know sometimes it might get stuck here and there. Um, it's also kind of hard to, to do something like this during a video because you know your head is kind of supposed to be still while you're while it's scanning your face. But this is just kind of a look at what the technology could eventually be like. And like I said, this is just a new part of Meta.io's SDK. So it's really about what people make of the technology. And right now it's only compatible with the Kinect. But as more 3D cameras come to market, like the Creative Sense 3D and similar things like that, uh, we're likely to see more types of technology like this. So once again, I'm Lisa Edichico here at Mobile World Congress 2014.